Hey out there and welcome. I'm Kate and I am glad that you're here. Today's practice is going to be a full body flow. We're going to try to hit everything that we can. So if you want a blanket, a couple of blocks, you can go ahead, grab all the props you'd feel comfortable practicing with. A strap probably won't be necessary, but if you'd like to have one nearby, you can grab that too. Find a quiet spot, roll out your mat, and let's do this. Okay, so we're gonna get started. You can find a comfortable seat, right? If you wanna sit in Sukhasana, that works. I'm gonna start in Vajrasana, sitting on my knees. If sitting like this, right, with your knees bent and your feet on your heels is uncomfortable or just feels a little bit eh, you can grab a block, put it between your ankles and then go ahead and sit on the block. And you may find that your hips want two blocks to stack. That works too. Just get yourself in a place where you can feel relaxed, but also engaged, right? So close your eyes. And just take a couple of moments to breathe. And let that breath be smooth and steady. And maybe it takes a little bit of time to get there. And that's all right. Maybe you ran here, clicked on this video, tossed your mat on the floor, and now you've just kind of flopped onto the mat, right? It's all good. Just give yourself a moment to gather, to bring yourself here. Your body is on your mat, but where is your mind? Bring your mind to your breath and feel your breath move in your body. And if you'd like today, you can set an intention for your practice, whatever that means, however you want to take it. And take a deep breath in. And when you exhale, feel your chin drop to your chest. And give your head a gentle shake side to side. And when you inhale, you're going to roll your right ear up over your right shoulder. And exhale, chin to chest. Inhale, come on up to the other side. Ooh, and chin to chest. Bring it back through center. One more time, right ear up over that right shoulder. And you can pause here. Maybe take your right hand to the side of your head. Give yourself a gentle tug. Feel that left side open up. And then exhale, release, chin to chest, and come on back up through the middle and over to the left side. And you can use that left hand if you want, right to the side of your head. Full breath here. And then exhale again, drop your chin to your chest. And when you inhale, you're gonna lift your head, sweep your arms out, stretch them up. Exhale, bring your arms into cactus. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, arms into cactus. One more, reach it up. And bring it into cactus. While you're here in cactus, feel your chest lift, let your hands press back. And on your exhale, you're gonna curl in. Pinkies and elbows come to touch. Inhale, open it up, lift your heart. And exhale, curl it back in. One more. Inhale, open it up. And curl it in. Open it back up into cactus. And then take that right arm, wrap it underneath the left. So you've got eagle arms here. Feel your chest. Ooh, your elbows lift. Your chest can just be where it is. <laughs> and then take your hands. Drop them to the left. And take your right ear over your right shoulder. Oh, give your head a little shake. Bring it back through center. Take your arms, stretch them forward. So now that left wrist is on top, right? Plug your arm bones in, flip your palms. Here we go. Take those arms up. Feel your low ribs draw down, fingertips stretch up toward the ceiling. The tops of your shoulders melt away from your earlobes. 
And on an exhale, bend that left elbow, grab a hold with the right hand. Lengthen up through that left side and take a lean over to the right. And while you're over there, drop that right hand to the floor. Slide your hand to the base of your skull. Hug your elbow in toward your ear and press your head into your hand. Peel it open. Yeah, and then stretch that left arm straight over your ear. And take it circles in one direction. Just to wake up that shoulder. And then circle it the other way. Exactly right. Nice, and then find that right knee with your left hand. Sit up nice and tall and give it a twist. <sighs> Inhale, back through center, reach it up. Exhale, arms into cactus. Breathe it in here. And then take that left arm underneath. Same deal, we're gonna wrap eagle arms. <sighs> this time, your hands can drop to the right. Take your left ear over your left shoulder. Give your head a little shake right there. Bring it back up through center. Take your arms, stretch them out so that right wrist is on top. Flip your palms, plug your arms in. Take those fingertips up toward the ceiling. Upper arms hug in toward your ears, even as your low ribs draw down. You got it. Press those palms into each other. And then bend your, left, uh, your right elbow. Grab a hold with your left hand. Lengthen up. And then take a lean over to the right. Over the left, you know, take it to the left. <laughs> and drop that left hand to the floor. Take your hand behind your head and lean back into your hand. Oh. Beautiful, stretch that right arm straight alongside your ear. And then some circles out and around. And then in the other direction. Beautiful, and then that right hand's gonna find your left knee, sit up nice and tall, and spin into a twist. And back through center, reach those arms up. Plant your hands out on the floor, downward facing dog, walk it back, and pedal out those feet. Nice, shake out your head, your neck. Drop your knees to the mat, find table, and just a couple of rounds of cat and cow. Beautiful, one more. And breathe it out. Come back to table. Take your right foot. You're going to step it straight back behind you. Tuck your toes. Push through your heel and just give a little rock right here. Lift it up. Sweep it over to the left. Tuck your toes again. Press through your heel and then look over that left shoulder. Oh. Nice deep breath into that right side body. Bring it back through center. Sweep that foot all the way out to the right. Press your foot into the floor. You can tuck your left toes, slide your hips back like you were gonna come into an extended child's pose. And then inhale, come back up into table. Sweep that right leg behind you. And knee to nose. Kick it back. Step it up between your thumbs. Sink your hips. Oh, you got it. Roll your shoulders back, lift your chest, inhale. Exhale, pull it back, Ardha Hanuman. Slide those hips back, work to straighten that right leg. Grab your blocks here if you want them. We're gonna rock it forward here. Sweep your right arm up, come into a twist. You can stay right here in your twist or you can bend that back knee, grab for the outer edge of your foot, roll the top shoulder open. And then release that back foot if you've got the quad stretch. Take your left foot, sweep it back behind you toward your left hand, and then take your right foot, step it to the back edge of the mat. We end up in this nice, like, long side planky thing, top arm alongside your ear. 
another breath into this right side body. Windmill your right hand down to the floor. Kick your left leg up and back. Down dog split. Inhale. Knee to nose. Pull it in. Kick it up and reach it back. Step it forward. Nice long lunge here. Keep your back knee lifted. Feel those hips sink down even as you fire up that right thigh. Yes. Inhale. When you exhale, you're going to step that back foot forward. Utkatasana, chair pose. Sink your hips. Full breath here. And then exhale and fold Uttanasana. Halfway lift. And dive forward. Press into the floor. Reach those arms all the way out and up. Ordva Hastasana. Exhale, dive right back over your legs. Let it go. Halfway lift. And a downward facing dog. From down dog, rock it forward, find plank. Knees, chest, chin, or chaturanga, you got it. Baby cobra, upward facing dog, pull your chest through. Downward facing dog, pull it up and stretch back. Pause right here. Ah, uh, yeah. Beautiful, drop your knees to the mat. Come back into table. Left side's gonna step back, right? Tap your left foot back, tuck your toes, give a little rock back and forth here. Nice, okay, and we're gonna float that leg up, sweep it over to the right, tuck your toes, push through your heel. Ooh, look over your right shoulder. Nice big breath into that left side, like one of those paper fans, right? And you flick, you flick it open. Let that be your left side rib cage. Just feel it flick open here. <sighs> Lift your leg up, sweep it through center. Take it all the way over to the left. Look out, blocks. And then land that foot. <laughs> Tuck your right toes under. Send your hips back toward your heel. So we land in this extended child's pose with that leg out of the side. Come back up into your table. Whoosh. Sweep the left leg back behind you. And then step it up between your thumbs. Fingertips on the floor, on some blocks. Let your hips sink down. Shoulder blades in your back. Inhale. Exhale, pull it back. Ardha Hanuman, runner's lunge. Sitting bones can curl back behind you. Just have like this curtain of hair. Oh my goodness. What's going on here? <laughs> and then rock it forward. Oh, we're gonna find the twist. Right hand roots, sweep that left arm up. You can go for the quad stretch here. If you wanna go for the quad stretch, roll it open. And release that back foot. Sweep your right foot over to the right. Step your left foot to the back of the mat. Sweep your top arm alongside your ear. Ah, oh, big breath into that side body. And then windmill that left hand onto the floor. Right leg kicks up and back, down dog split. You got it, knee to nose. Kick it up and stretch it back. And when you exhale, step it up between your thumbs. Back knee stays lifted, sink your hips, stretch your chest forward, inhale. And when you exhale, step it to the top of the mat, sink your hips, chair pose. <laughs> Beautiful. You got it, fold Uttanasana. Halfway lift. And fold again. And press the floor away. Come all the way up, Ordva Hastasana. Find a big reach here. Then hands down through prayer. Give yourself a moment right here to pause. And breathe. Okay, let's put some more into it. Inhale, come out and up. Exhale and fold Uttanasana. Strong legs, halfway lift. Downward facing dog, walk it back. Oh. Feel your shoulder blades in your back. Give yourself a moment. Press the floor away. Feel your sitting bones pull up and back. Take your right leg, lift it up, stretch it back behind you. 
And then when you exhale, knee to nose, just pull it in. Inhale, kick it up, take it back. Exhale, step it up between your thumbs. And pause right here, right? Shoulder blades in your back. Lift your chest. Okay, here we go. We're gonna shift your weight into your right foot. You can take your hands forward. Blocks if you want them. Left knee is gonna tap that right calf. Boom. Step it back, sink your hips. Shift it forward and tap. Step it back, sink your hips. One more, shift it forward, tap and hold it here. Right or left hand's gonna stay right where it is. Take your right hand to the top of your right, or your left foot, sorry. You gotta kinda sweep it around to the side. Sink your weight back into your right heel. Take your gaze slightly forward and see if you can just push into the floor enough to lift this left hand off the floor into the half kind of prayer pose. And then press into your right foot, straighten the leg, kick it back, revolved not a rajasana. It's a slow, steady rise. Take your time. And this left foot's gonna step into a curtsy, out to the right, bend that right knee, sweep your hands back behind you. Good day. <laughs> Take your left hand to the floor and you're gonna give yourself some room. So slide it toward the outer edge of the, the mat here. Lean your shoulder over this wrist, press into your left foot. Your right foot is gonna step to the back of the mat. So we end up here in a fallen triangle. <sighs> Let it open up. And then drop your booty to the floor. Flex those feet, lengthen up, and now fold to the inside, Upavista Konasana. Dive into the <laughs> wide leg fold. Yes. Come back to your breath. Heart may be beating a little bit, you know. We got this. When you inhale, hands come back underneath you. Come on up, spin your hands to the top of the mat. The left leg is gonna kick up and back. Down dog split, inhale. Knee to nose, pull it in. Kick it up and back. Crescent lunge, step it forward. Beautiful. Find your balance here. Warrior two. Soften your shoulders, hug your arm bones into the sockets. And now we're gonna to spin to the middle, goddess. Bend your knees, sink your hips. If you can bring your hands into temple overhead, you can, it might feel too strenuous on your shoulders so you can keep your hands apart. It's all good, you're just gonna feel your inner thighs move away from each other, feel those hips sink down. And now notice how your heartbeat has now accelerated. <laughs> All right, press your palms together overhead or at your heart center. We're gonna spin toward this back leg. Spin your right toes open, all the way under the ball of your back foot, left elbow to that right knee. We end up in a twisty lunge here. Scissor those inner thighs. Keep this right knee bent, but spin your chest around. Skandasana, still at the back edge of your mat. Yes, half moon to that left foot. Shift your weight. Grab a block on the way if you want it. Ardha Chandrasana. Press the floor away with that left foot for your inner right thigh engage. Flex your foot, spread your toes. Yes. And if you want, you can go for a Chapasana variation here. Bend that top knee. Grab for the foot. We're gonna come into King Dancer. So if you've got the foot, hold on to it. If you're in Ardha Chandrasana without the foot grab, it's okay. You're just gonna slowly bend that standing leg, come all the way up, and when you get up here, you can grab the foot. King Dancer, regular old, right hand to right foot. <sighs> Extend it back, warrior three. Ooh, we're getting down and dirty here. Crescent lunge. Inhale, 
exhale step it forward chair sink those hips <laughs> all right take those feet a little bit wider toes out sink your hips all the way down find a squat malasana you can use a blanket underneath your heels or a block underneath your butt take just a moment here to pause Feel your feet root into the floor. Feel your chest lift. Hmm. Deep breath here. Exhale and fold Uttanasana. Straighten those legs. Ah. Halfway lift. Downward facing dog. Let's do the other side, yeah? <laughs> Left leg's gonna lift. Inhale. Knee to nose. Pull it in. Kick it up and back. Step that left foot forward. Pause right here. Sink your hips. Stretch your chest forward. Yes. Here we are. We're going to do the taps. You ready? Shift your weight into this left foot. Tap your right knee to your left calf. Step it back. Lunge. Slow and steady. Shift and tap. Step it back. Lunge. Last one, we're gonna hold it. Right knee to that left calf. Right fingertips can come forward a little bit and out to the side. Take your left hand to the top of your right foot. Keep this left knee bent for a moment, but lift your chest. And then maybe you can bring that right hand into a half prayer here. I don't know what this is, some kind of wing in a prayer pose. Press the floor away. Ooh. We stand into revolved Nadarajasana. And there might be a wibble wobble. It's okay. Let it be. Let it wibble wobble. Curtsy now. That right foot's going to step over and to the left. And we fold, sweep the arms back. Take this right hand out to the side. Lean your shoulder over your wrist. Step your left foot to the back of the mat. Fall in triangle. Lift your hips. Oh. And then set your butt on the floor. Lengthen up. Upavista Konasana, fold. Oh. And flex your feet, press the tops of your thighs down. Slide your hands underneath you. Come on up. Windmill your hands to the top of the mat. Right side kicks up and back. Down dog split. Inhale. Knee to nose, pull it in. Kick it up and stretch it back. And then step it forward. Crescent lunge, rise up. Feel those hips sink down. Low ribs can draw in, right? Even as you stretch up through the sides of your body. Warrior two. Open it up. Pause right here. Gaze over that right shoulder. Goddess. Spin yourself through the middle. Hands can come into temple. Spread them apart, whatever works. Sink into those hips. Feel your inner thighs work away from each other. All right, hands to prayer at your heart or overhead. Spin to that left knee. Take your right elbow to your left knee. You can come all the way under the ball of that back foot. It makes the revolution easier. Scissor through those inner thighs. Press into your left foot, lift your chest. Skandasana to this left leg, right? So just spin your chest around and then drop your hips. Yes. We got this half moon to this right foot. Shift your weight. And breathe. Oh. Press the floor away. Lengthen your spine. Work the inner thigh on that left leg. If you want a chapasana here, you can grab for a chapasana, right? Bend that left knee, grab for the top of your ankle, the front of your foot. 
We're gonna come up into King Dancer, right? So soften your standing leg, shift your weight back, and come on up. Beautiful, warrior three. Step it back, crescent lunge for a beat, inhale. Exhale it forward, chair, whoo. Sink it a little bit lower, a little bit lower. Mm -hmm. You can find your malasana here if you want to sink your hips. Oh. Lift your chest. Close your eyes for a moment. This is the perfect time if you'd like to practice a crow. You can practice a crow, right? You can bring your hands forward. Come onto the balls of your feet, lift your butt, right? Elbows hug in. Knees come to the tops of the elbows. If it feels more comfortable to come to the outer edges of your arms and kind of vice grip, you know what works for you, right? Shift your weight, keep your gaze forward. And maybe we pop up. Big toes touch. Land back in your malasana. Take your butt to the floor. Soles of your feet come together, knees open out of the side, Baddha Konasana. Lengthen yourself up and give yourself a fold. Hmm. And when you inhale, come on up through. Lift your chest, bring your knees together. Take this left hand to your right knee. Sweep your right hand behind you. Lift it up. Beautiful. Twist it out. Feel this low back draw in and up. And then through center, give yourself a little hug right here. <sighs> And then lift it up. Keep your right hand where it is. Sweep your left hand behind you. Feel the, your spine lift and lengthen. <sighs> hmm. Bring it back through center. Stretch those legs out in front. Inhale, lengthen up. And when you exhale, we're going to fold over the legs. Paschimottanasana. And then slowly round it up. Come all the way down onto your back. Pull those knees in and rock a little side to side. And now whatever it is that you want to do before we come into a Shavasana, you can grab a happy baby. You can take another twist. You can stay here with your knees hugged into your chest. When you're ready to unfold yourself, unfold onto the mat. <sighs> Relax into the floor. Enjoy your breath here. Because man, it feels good to be splatted out on the floor. <laughs> Feel all the work leave your muscles as your muscles melt away from your bones. Let your bones get heavy. As you drop into the floor. And breathe.
And let your next breath be a little deeper. Feel your body awake as you move your fingers and your toes. Maybe let your head go a little bit side to side. And stretch your arms overhead. Give yourself a full body yawn here. Mm. And pull those knees into your chest. Ah, and roll to your side. Press into the strength of your arms. Come on up into a comfortable seat. And take a moment right here. With your eyes still closed, come back to your breath. Hmm. Come back to that intention. Why you stepped onto your mat today. Bring your palms together into Anjali Mudra and bow your head and, and thank your body and your breath for moving you through your practice today and for getting you through every other moment of every other day. And I appreciate you being here. I thank you for spending some time with me. I look forward to practicing with you again soon. As always, you know the drill. If you liked it, hit that like button, throw me a comment. If you didn't like it, that's okay too. <laughs> Subscribe or share with a friend. Make it a great day.